welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And today, this is a fun little pattern. This was uh, 98987. So, yeah, this was an unusual one to double, kind of, I don't know. I, I It could have been made different ways I chose, which I thought would turn out looking the coolest. And I like it a lot. I did, however, change it slightly from the original pattern where I left off the very first row because it ended kind of at a point where I didn't think it looked as good. So I changed it ever so slightly. That's the liberty of making your own patterns. You get to do it the way you want to. I, I don't know. I like it the way it turned out. Um, it's a little bit quirky. I had pointed out while making the pattern, it was, it seemed to me like there's a, like a weird deliberate where it's like one space and then the next one is two spaces and back to one space. Um, makes it a little bit quirky, a little bit different. Uh, makes you kind of have to watch the pattern closer, but there are elements to it that were a lot of fun. I like the way that the dark one cuts through the, the little boxes to go from you know the inside to the outside i thought that was a lot of fun like because it's super easy and you're boxing it in with the lighter color and and that so this is a slightly off white a bright vibrant orange and then a darker much like burnt orange um i like i like how it came out i'm holding it in my hand it's really super, super cute. It's not something I, I, I don't think I would have ever come up with this on my own. It's one of those kind of patterns where like after you see it, you're like, yeah, that's a cool combination. That's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't think without the, the original pattern that I would have like came up with this at all. So I'm really kind of happy to have made it. I, I think that was a lot of fun. I think it's really cute. Um, as far as difficulty goes, not terrible. Um, you got a fair number of knots that are zigzagging and bouncing on the inside parts. And that does make it a little bit harder, but, uh, yeah, if you, if you've mastered all four knots, then you could probably do this one. It's not that bad. Um, I could have probably done more segmenting than I did. But again, because it doesn't, it, it changes like the number of like how far it goes each time. It kind of had me wanting to kind of stick to things that I knew what was happening, like getting that little white dot where it needs to be. Is it a single? Is it a double? And then once I got that part done, I could go stick to an area and finish up whatever. But, um, yeah, that was the one part that I just really was trying to avoid making any mistakes. Um, that said, I don't think I really made that many mistakes, and it did. It took me about an hour and ten minutes to make the whole bracelet. So yeah, not bad. Um, it's really kind of fun. I, I really, I really do like this one. I'd probably say that about all my bracelets, right? But look at uh, from a distance, it's. It, the way it alternates, it's kind of cute. Um, I did suggest the possibility that you could change out the colors that are inside of the little white boxes. So if you're looking to, you want to do it, but you want to put your own spin on it, there's the possibility right there. You could alternate them. You could change it. So maybe only the, the ones in the middle of the bracelet were the light colored and the, out here were the dark colored. It's all up to you. You're when you when you realize that you have control over the knots and that you can do anything that you want, you get the possibilities of, of taking something like this and just changing it and making it your own thing. You could make a light on one side, a dark on the other, and then make those keep alternating. You know? Endless, endless kinds of possibilities, I'm telling you. Just even in something as small as this, like that's, that's what makes it really fun for me. It's just 12 strings, right? Making 12 strings dance to your tune 
is something special. I think that's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm absolutely encouraging you to, to try your own designs and see where it goes because it's fun. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to guess where I'm at. Is it? It definitely felt like it was going fast. And I think that helps because the segments are sort of, you know, distinct. And so that you're like, oh, I've already finished these ones. I'm on to, you know, whatever area next. So that's that kind of a thing as well. That's kind of, for me, that's like one of my favorite things about a design is when you can knock out a segment and that feels like an accomplishment. I think that's because my little smooth brain with the ADHD sees those accomplishments and says, okay, you can have a little dopamine. Here you go. Add a boy. So yay me. Uh, I kind of, it kind of helps me get things done. So there you go. Uh, I think if I'm not mistaken. I think we're getting actually near the middle of it. Right, because we've already done the two dark ones. Man, this does definitely seem like it goes by quick, even in the video. So, yeah. Wait, was that? Sorry, smooth brain here again. Um, yeah, this is the middle. So, thank you to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. See, I always try to put that towards the middle of my video. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is roughly that. So, yeah. Hey, thank you guys very, very much. I put all you guys' names up on the screen because I want the world to see these are the people who are, like, absolutely awesome and uh, helping me to keep the channel going and doing things like giveaways and stuff like we have over on the live streams. Um, eventually, I want to do more giveaways and... The only way that's going to work is if I can afford the, the string and the shipping because I don't I don't like that idea of saying like okay you can have something but you got to pay me for like the shipping I think that's I I know that that happens in some places I don't like it I, that's just there's something icky about that I don't want so yeah once we get around to really pulling in some more money we can uh, explore some other avenues of getting things into your guys's hands because ultimately that's what this whole thing is about right making friends sharing ideas sharing the gift of bracelets that'd be kind of fun um yeah so this is one of the ones where there's like two of the dots I think, right no this is a single right okay so this one's a single um but you can see, like, there's a single dot, two dot, single dot. It's it's kind of funny. It's a little bit quirky. Um, but I definitely like it. I definitely think, like, there's some possibilities. You could extend it so that way, like, some of them had three of the white dots in between. And uh, that would be kind of interesting, too. You know? Again, make it your own. Have fun. You know? If... If you nobody's ever told you that before, listen to me now. You can change patterns to your whim and make it fun, make it different, make it exciting to you. So definitely try it. Um, let's see. This is the first one past the center. And then we're coming into the orange one. See right there? There's just two darks on the left and two bright oranges on the right totally can make it orange it could have been i don't know i kind of i kind of am tempted in trying to see like how many different variations of just this pattern i could do and honestly i think the number of that would be really really quite high but right now this month i really wanted to focus on doubling patterns so maybe in the future, that could be something else that we could do is we could take patterns and see how many different variations. I don't know. I 
not sure how that series would go. Like, unless you really liked something about the, pa- the original pattern, then you would be you would be glued to the series. You would want to see the different possibilities. But if it was something you didn't care for, every single video that comes from it would be. Eh. So I'm kind of that's why I'm hesitant. Like I, I really need to know that that this is a uh, a trend that you guys would really be into for me to explore those kind of ideas because I'm not sure how popular that might be. So let me know. Let me know. Give me comments. Um, if you really want to influence the channel, you can do the, the whole support thing, the Patreon or the YouTube members because. Um, Obviously, if you're as committed to the channel that you want to actually throw a few dollars my way, um, obviously I'm going to pay a lot more attention to you because, you know, every little bit counts. I think, what is it? It's $4 for the uh, YouTube uh, members. And I think there's, you know, choices on the other one for the Patreon. So it's up to you guys, seriously. All right, so there's the orange one, just one more dart, and then uh, it closes off. So, um, yeah, now I have to really, really try to get the smooth brain to tell you guys, like, any last-minute thoughts, because it's almost over. Um, I can't think of anything, honestly. Oh. A lot of my making videos are actually done on a live stream for the YouTube members. So if you really wanted to talk with me while I'm making stuff or ask questions, that would be an option for you there is with the YouTube membership. Um, I opened up the Patreon or not Patreon, the Discord uh, server to where people can just sit and talk with me. And um, yeah, I can help you work out ideas if you're like, contemplating making something big like a bag or whatever i can tell you whatever like if you have ideas that you're just not quite comfortable with um there's a chance that either i've done it or i'd be willing to try it just to be able to help you get through your project so another option there for you yeah here it comes so hey thanks for hanging out with me I really do appreciate that more than you know. And as always, don't get your strengths in a bunch.